Yeah, Johnny was terrific. You know, that's, uh, we're pretty accustomed to seeing that type of pitching from Johnny. And um, you know what, I think the other, the other thing I think that's important is not only he's healthy, um, but uh, he just seemed to be so free and easy just letting it go. I mean, that was a really nice thing to see. And uh, he just attacked their lineup, made good pitches. I thought he worked really well with Brian Pena. The defense was solid behind him, and, and uh, he gave us a great chance to win. No, I don't see any issues with Billy. I see him going up against Adam Wainwright, who's pretty good and a pretty good bullpen over there. You know that they have a, they, uh, and they gave him some trouble. Um, you know that's those those games happen. You know, and I know that he uh, he would like to had uh, more impact on our game offensively, but uh, you know, he'll be back in there day after tomorrow and uh, doing his thing. So no, I'm not concerned. Brian, you but, waited six months for this day since you were named manager at the beginning of October. Talk about uh, was it everything you thought it would be? Opening day as a manager. Here? I was thinking there was a win at the end of it uh, for sure. Um, it, yeah, I mean it's. You know, I, try, I really try not to make this about myself and my experience. It's really about what what we do as a team, and we have a lot of expectations here of, of playing excellent baseball, and we came real close today. Um, and it's been great. I mean, f from a personal level, it's been it's been sensational because I'm linked up with a with a great group of character people on this team and in the organization, and that helps a lot here working with the Reds. So, um, yeah, a lot of positives. The the end result wasn't great, but we got 161 more to, to turn things around. Please raise your hand, and I'll get you the microphone. Uh, Brian, did the bottom of the eighth just feel like that was a good chance to, to take the game and feel like a missed opportunity? Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. It was first and third, nobody out, and, and we weren't able to, you know, to, uh, to score there. Um, and, you know, Adams made the play, um, really coming up with that uh, the ball that Jay hit and, and uh, being able to get uh, – to get Brandon in a rundown, and uh, we just weren't able to get the hit that we needed right there. You know, it uh, it's uh, yeah, it's disappointing, but uh, you know there'll be other disappointments along the way. Certainly have to be resilient, and it's it's the first game. Would love to win, but we didn't. Brian, was Brandon supposed to be running on contact on that play? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that situation is uh, we get a ball and they turn two, we still score the run. You know, so. Uh, and I, and I thought he did a great job trying to stay in a rundown and, and give us a chance to advance. It just they re, they did a really a really good job with that. Adams was able to round up uh, uh, was able to round up Brandon at third and run him back and drive him back to the bag, which makes it a lot harder for for Joey to go from first to third. Raise your hand. I'll get you a microphone. Any oh, coming at you. Truth be told, did it take you an inning or two or maybe three to get? Get it all together, your emotions and, and whatnot, being that it was your first. Yeah, you know what I think, um, and it, right, it's it's different to manage. There's no doubt about it. I, I, I've been been at this level. This is the beginning of my 15th year, so um, I didn't get o really overwhelmed or terribly caught up in the fact that it was my first game. I was just trying not to, you know, not not to be unprepared. And I've got a great staff around me of coaches that I don't think would ever let that happen. Um, so once I got the fruit basket, you know, it was on, you know, it was, it was on. So, uh, and it was great. You know, there's, there's, there's nothing like a regular season game. There, there's nothing similar in spring training. In spring training, you don't walk, intentionally walk guys, and you may not be the same type of team offensively in spring training as you are during the season. Um, you know, you've got a much smaller roster to work with. There's a lot of differences between the two. So. Uh, just getting this one under my belt uh, was was big for me. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's a great pitcher. I mean, this opening day is over. It's day one. I got a long season ahead of me, so I'm fine. You know, obviously, you want to make a good impression there because the bar, you know, you didn't get to at least show the fans what you could do. No, of course. I mean, something. it's okay. It's opening day. I mean, I can only get better from here. I mean, it's baseball. It happens like that sometimes. Just you got to still be confident and come out tomorrow and work, get better, and learn the game. It's okay. That first good bat on opening day, what were you feeling as you walked up at the plate? I say I, I was nervous of excitement. It was, it was it was a good time. I mean, crowd was here with us and everything, but it's a bad day for me. And I'm, it's one of my opening days, one of many. So I'm, I'm excited about being, being part of the opening day, getting a chance to even be on the field with these guys. So I'm fine.
Did the speed feel different at all, being out there? Just Was everything kind of sped up for you being opening day? No, it's not. I mean, it's, it's baseball. I mean, it, I, I feel like I put too much pressure on myself from the start off, but uh, I'll be all right now. You ever had a day like that before in the minor leagues that, that you had to get, get over? Yeah, of course. I mean, you struggle. I mean, I struggled many times in, in minor leagues. I never had a great start, so it's, it's a better thing to come. You never had a great start? Uh, I've never had a great start. About my five years, I've been here. Never had a great start. You mean just opening day or just like for a week or two? The whole, yeah, like a week or two months, okay. <laughs> I get better. Did, did you say you, you felt like you did put too much pressure on yourself? Say what? Did you say you felt like you put too much pressure on yourself? Is that what you said? I couldn't hear Just try to do too much. Yeah. 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 The certain way he was pitching, you know, you never, I get, I mean, did you, you probably didn't face him last year at all when you were out? No, I never faced him before. Like I said, it's, everything's on me. I, I've got to get better. It's okay. But, uh, you know, I believe in my teammates, you know, I believe in the club that, and the ball club that we have and, uh, you know, we just go out there and, and, uh, and compete. In particular, though, I mean, Johnny's been kind of snaked the past couple of years with injuries and stuff. And for him to come out and have a performance like that has got to make you feel pretty good, you know, that, you know, for his chances and how it bodes well for the season for him. Definitely. I mean, everybody knows what we got. You know, everybody is very excited about our pitching and stuff. You know, everybody's very excited about our bullpen, you know, our lineup. You know, if for him to come and, and uh, step up to the challenge the way he did, it, it was unbelievable. He just, uh, you know, he, he went out there and, and, and he gave us uh, everything that he got. You know, he, uh, he did a tremendous job. Like I say, you know, uh, Molina hit a pretty good cutter and, and uh, you know, he hit out of a ballpark. But it's baseball, you know, I take that every day. I mean, one run, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those that are... Uh, we're not going to get beat by one run, uh, you know, that more often. That's that's something for sure that you guys can write down. Any day, really. I mean, we had, you know, two, you know, really, really good outings versus him at the end of the year last year. But, um, you know, he's one of the best for a reason. We just, um, I don't even know if we hit a ball hard today. It didn't seem like we hit, you know, put much hard in play. And, and um, you know, it sucks because Cueto obviously pitched, you know, unbelievable. And bullpen came in and did their job. Um, you never want to, you know, start the season with a shutout, but um, it is what it is. Long season, and we'll come back half day off tomorrow, and come back ready to play Wednesday. Do you feel for Billy Hamilton a little bit? You know, first opening day here, expectations so high in facing that guy. You know what? It's tough, um, but you know he's a he's a resilient kid. He's gonna he's gonna come back Wednesday. Um, it it almost you know is bad for him that we have a day off tomorrow because he has to think about it even more. You know, um, for me personally, I like if I have a bad game, I like coming back the next day and throwing that one out the door. So um, I, he's going to be fine, and um, you know we have all the confidence in him in the world. Um, like you said, it's a tough you know tough matchup. None of us you know look good out there today, so um, he's going to be fine. We're not worried about him. Obviously, opportunities with three errors that they put out there and, and, and couldn't be able to cash in today. Yeah, you know, um, when the other team's trying to give you, you know, some runs or, you know, give you an inning or whatever, uh, a big inning, you want to take advantage. We didn't. Um, so um, we just have to go. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Yadier has definitely improved. And he, I think he understands what type of hitter he is. And, you know, I'm not sure where the pitch was, but I'm sure it was something he could handle. And, um, yeah, he's a guy that can hurt you. I mean, we, we've seen it. And, um Hurts a lot of other people too, and he, he's a, he's one of the best catchers in the game. I mean, he's he's there for a reason. It's one of those days where you just kind of run into a win right was on their bullpen. And everybody knows how good their bullpen is. Just kind of one of those one of those days, and you, you go on to the next day. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, like I said, this was a well played game by both sides. Uh, we didn't take advantage of a few opportunities, and that's what cost us. But other than that, I mean, you know, the, like I said, the only the only action they had all day really was the, the Yadier home run and. You know what? Yeah, sometimes you just gotta wipe the dirt off and go home and, and enjoy your family and get back at it uh, the next game. So, Jay Zach said, "I'm not sure anybody hit the ball really hard all no. day." And in your situation with first and third, was it a was it a first contact play with with Brandon at third? I would assume so. Uh, you know, that's the third base uh, coach's call uh, right there. We're we're trying to get that run in, and um, yeah, so I, I think it's a play right there. We had, you know, you can't really be too tentative. Uh, obviously, as you go into this, there's not much more you can say besides two pitchers did their job and one team we scored did. one, you didn't. Absolutely. That's, that's the bottom line. It was a well-played game by both sides, and I expect a lot more games like that. And um, it, it, was, um, it was still, you know, opening day in Cincinnati, so I look forward to the 161 games we have left. No, it's, it's game one, so uh, 
you know, if you're worried about struggling right now, there's a problem. So for us, uh, we lost game one last year. We made the playoffs. So not really worrying. Um, you know, just baseball's a tough game. We got When we get opportunities, you got to make it. And now uh, we just didn't today. That's it. Cardinals certainly left the door open a few different times. How much does it hurt? You said it's only game one, but you guys had a chance to capitalize and, and just couldn't do it. And that's, and that's again, that's baseball. Uh, uh, you, you fail 70% of the time, if not 75. So when you get an opportunity and you do good with it, it it's very nice. And when you don't, you see what happens. So uh, for us, come back tomorrow, get a good workout in, and then we'll be ready to go for uh, Tuesday. For Wednesday. Billy Hamilton, obviously very frustrated. What do you say to him? After a day like today, on opening day for him, you say you know you're going to be a good good player. I, I mean, he had what did he have four strikeouts? What are you going to do? Everybody everybody's there one time. Uh, I told him to relax. I told him to understand that he's going to be playing this game a long time, not to worry about a darn thing because he's going to be that athlete and that that player that we need to be. So uh, for him to be frustrated, maybe a little bit, but at the same time, uh, we got a lot more games to go. Just the first three games of the season here in this series, but still it means a lot for you guys, I would think, to take it. How much does it mean to bounce back on Wednesday? Huge, huge. And that, that'll be um, a little stepping stone for us this year. Get that first W out of the way, and especially against the Cardinals, like you said. All right, thanks, Tom. Yep. Tom Wade Ryan had, had the stuff today. Nobody really hit the ball hard. Um, he was mixing his pitches. Uh, like you said, nobody really hit the ball hard. And uh, when a guy mixes pitches up like that and, you know, throws them for strikes, and you know, maybe they're a little off, maybe not, and he gets them. It's uh, it's a really tough day. It's going to happen. An outstanding pitch game. Uh, I wouldn't. I would, I'd say well would uh, be a, be understating that. Uh, both those guys, uh, especially Cueto from our end, uh, a guy who probably didn't see as many innings as he wanted to in spring training to come out and do that. Couldn't be happier for him. Couldn't be happier for the team because he's our horse and he's one of our horses, and and, and we really need him. And that was a really positive, positive outing for him. Yeah, and Wainwright just difficult to hit all day long. I mean, and Wainwright, you know. I mean, I, I was just talking about it. You get a matchup between. It was a playoff. It was a playoff game out there. You know, it was it was a low scoring game. The pitchers did what they were supposed to do. Anytime you get a, a matchup of a guy like Wainwright and Cueto, if they're on top of their game. It's going to be a low-scoring game. I don't care. I don't care what happens. Uh, I've always been a firm believer that pitching wins championships, and those two guys are as good as it gets right now in the National League. And and when they're on top of their game, and today I, I think that's what you saw. Don't often get extra chances. They gave you three extra chances with Harris. So you couldn't yeah, yeah. You know that they, that eighth inning was tough. There's no doubt about it. Um, I wish I could have done it. Yeah, I got a. I got the pitch I was looking for. I hit the ball the way I wanted to hit it to the other side of the field. I was looking to drive a line drive the other way. Um, I just banged it right into the ground. I barreled it up, just straight into the dirt, and uh, it's unfortunate. You know, we don't, we don't want, we don't want to make outs, but uh, we live to fight another day. And uh, it's the first game of the season. We got 161 left. Is it obvious that you look at this team as because of who they are, the team to beat, the team to play? Well, I, I think you know, I was just talking to, to Paul about that. It, it, it I, I was saying. As players, uh, we see what writers say and what media says around the country. I think, I mean, if you were to ask every every guy in the media around the entire nation, uh, from what I've seen, they've uh, probably a 90% favorite to win this division. So, um, you know, we were we were speaking about their back. I think one of the reasons is they're back into the bullpen. They got a really back into a good back into the bullpen, and uh, they got into a little bit of trouble today, and they got out of it. So. Um, yeah, it's tough for us, but it, you don't want to take too much out of it because it's game one, and, and like you said, it was a really well pitched game all the, all the way around, and we just came out on the losing side. Appreciate it. What's your message to to Billy Hamilton? Obviously, how'd you feel about the outing today? ¿Cómo te sientes del del juego de la apertura? Me siento muy bien, gracias a Dios. I feel really good, thank God. I feel good. Well, when you you got hit on that for the very first batter, what, what were you worried? What what, what happened? And, and you shook it off pretty quick, it seems. Cuando te el primer bateador te golpeó, este, parece que qué sentiste, qué pasó? Te saliste de esa bastante rápido. Cuéntanos un poco. Bueno, el, le tiré cambio a ese picheo y me dio la línea en la muñeca, pero gracias a Dios que no fue nada mal. Well, it was a change. I threw a change, and then the, the ball came back real, real fast and hit my wrist. So, uh, but I think I was nothing bad, nothing to really worry about. You pitched to Molina that, that he got out. Uh, what did you throw? Did you hit it in the spot you wanted? El picheo de, de Molina que te sacó. Este, ¿Qué pensas de ese picheo? Lo tenía. Ese era el espacio donde lo quería. ¿Qué pasó? Bueno, eso fue un corre. Se lo dejé en el medio. Yo no quería. Eh, 
yo lo quería tirar para atrás, como él está esperando, y bueno, fue demasiado agresivo y me la sacó. Well, yeah, it was a cutter. I, I want to throw it for a strike. But, I mean, he was really waiting for that pitch. He was really aggressive, and you know what happened. That's it? You were spring training, and where you stand going into this? Uh, it's just spring training. Uh, I feel good coming into here. I feel strong, so uh should be a good uh, season. Obviously, this is the team to beat. Cardinals are the team to beat. I mean, obviously, they bounce back after a full opening day. Yeah. Do you feel that even more significantly, even though it's early? Uh, I mean, we have 161 games left, so uh, a lot of them against them. So, um, you know, there's obviously pressure every game to win, but I, I wouldn't say more pressure. Johnny set the tone with a uh, solid start today. Mm -hmm. Tough back to follow now. No, I'm just go out there and do what I do. and. I mean, Johnny threw one hell of a game. I mean, it was amazing. Um, but, you know, he set the tone and just got to keep going. Change for you at all? Night game, day game, atmosphere early, late? Do you, do you like this start? Um, I mean, I like playing underneath the lights. It's, it's kind of a, you know, you know, everybody's kind of just looking at you. At, and there's no sun or anything. It's just the lights on and it's time to play. And, um, and I wouldn't say anything's really too much different, but you know, it's, a lot, it's a lot fun and it's a lot more fun underneath the lights. To piggyback on that, how much does it mean for you? We talked about the pressure to come out and carry the Reds home in game two of the season. I mean, I, pressure isn't like a thing. It's just what you think. It's just, I mean, you just go out there and you just play. I mean, it's a, not, I wouldn't call it pressure. I don't know. But the chance to go out and have a little redemptive night. I mean, Johnny threw one great game. I mean, just score a couple of runs, we good to go. Obviously, a big thing though, a chance to get Brian his first win. I know Ludwig said you guys are kind of chomping at the bit to, to get that taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely for him for being a first time manager. You know, it'd be great for him and uh, great for our team. Yeah. Oh, I was just doing what I was told. You know, um, some things happened in this game, and um, the, the Cardinals, they gave us a chance to really go out there and um, take the game, but it didn't go our way. I mean, it's, it's opening day. Um, it was nice to see all the fans there um, showing us the support. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, opening day is always a beautiful day. Uh, it would have been nice if we would have got a win, but it didn't go, go that way. So uh, we just bid on the mistakes that we made today, and I'm taking it to the next game. Wainwright, tough to hit, obviously, today. Where's your Wainwright? What's kind of Wainwright? Well, you know, we had opportunities to really go out there and take the game. And, um, I mean, I, I don't like giving people too much credit. You know, uh, he pissed his pants on the same way I do. So, uh, you know, I just feel like that we should have won the game, but we didn't. But, you know, I mean, that's that's game of baseball. You know, um, they just did their job, and um, Yachty just, you know, that one pitch. I mean, that was the only thing that really was his game, and uh, they made three errors, and we didn't capitalize on that. That's why I said, uh, you know, you got to take advantage of the mistakes that a team makes, regardless of who it is, and, uh, you know, try to score as much as runs as you can. How about Cueto's effort today? Oh, it was nice to see Cueto pitch like that, man. I mean, you know, you, you really don't know what kind of Cueto you was going to get today, especially him being hurt. And um, he, he was lights out. I mean, he just made one mistake. And, and I mean, it's very nice to see Cueto like that, even though um, he didn't get the win. But um, if he continued pitching like that, he's going to get a lot of Ws, and, um, and it's going to be good, great for our baseball team. Turn the focus now to Wednesday night. Uh, try to come out here now and try to get that first win, a little added emphasis there. Well, I know we're going to get a win. You know, uh, it's not. this is not going to be the last game we lose, you know. So uh, did I say that right? But, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I know we're going to get a win. Uh, we're going to get a W soon. But um, I'm looking looking forward to opening night. I mean, that's one of those two days today and opening night is always two of the best days here in Cincinnati. And uh, hopefully the fans can come out again and support us and hope we can get a W. In that talk of not giving everybody too much credit, you, you know what you hear, you know what you read. Um, Cardinals are supposed to be that team to beat. Do, does this clubhouse feel like the Cardinals are that team to beat in this division? Tell you the truth, we just worry about ourselves and, and let everybody else talk about who they think is the best team or whatever. But, you know, they did go to the World Series last year. Um, I mean, they're a winning organization. But I feel like that um, we're a great b baseball team, too. And uh, all you can do is just worry about ourselves. Any words for uh, Billy Hamilton? He was obviously frustrated after his first opening day. Oh, uh, y'all talked to him. I mean, what am I supposed to say? I mean, you know, I mean, me and Billy, we talked about it. Um, you know, and um, I mean, I mean, it was his first opening day. I mean, what, what do you expect? I mean, the guy can't do everything. But um, you know, y'all talked to him, and he'll tell you how he felt about the, about his game today. One through five, you had the only hit of the day. Mentality-wise, does it take a lot for you guys to kind of get back on path for Wednesday? 
No, not really. I mean, this that's that's like some negative question, man. I mean, I mean, you can't do good every day. <laughs> I mean, baseball is hard. I mean, if that was the case, anybody would be really out here playing. But I mean, you know, you, sometimes, man. I mean, baseball sucks. You know, we just didn't get a win. That's the only thing we really do. I mean, they gave us the game. We just didn't take it. I mean, you know, maybe we didn't want it. You know, what I'm saying maybe we want to beat them Wednesday or in Thursday, but. I mean, that's just how baseball game is, man. I mean, you know, we'll be all right. I mean, it's only one game. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.